Hello and welcome to um, the video about RC circuits. And specifically, we're going to be talking about charging and discharging the capacitor. It's a pretty cool topic. So let's draw a little circuit real quick. We've got our voltage source connected to a resistor, um, connected to a capacitor. So this equation we use here to determine how much of the capacitor is charged at certain time periods um, based upon the voltage and a couple other factors. So V, kind of the amount charged of the capacitor is equal to EMF, the voltage put out by the voltage source times one minus E to the negative time divided by resistance times capacitance. And then there's another equation where time constant is what it's called is equal to the resistance times the capacitance. So a time constant is a certain period of time. It depends on the resistance of the circuit and the capacitance of the capacitor at which the capacitor is a certain percentage charged. And to figure out how, what those percentages are, we can manipulate these two equations to find out how these um, relate to each other. So we have the time or a time constants right here, um, the percent charged, and then we have the voltage um, across the plates of the capacitor. So let's start out right now and let's figure this out. So we take this part of the equation um, and then we plug it in for, so we wanna find um, how much, what the percentage is for one time constant. So we can actually plug in for time constant RC. So we have negative one times RC divided by RC because we replaced the time with time constant, which is equal to resistance times capacitance. And then after you do that, you can cross them out. You get one minus e to the negative one, which is actually equal to 0.632 or 63.2 percent. So you plug that in, you have one time constant, which is 63.2 percent. And so if we look at this, if we're charging up this capacitor, let's say we start with a 10 voltage source. Um, at 63.2 percent, all you're going to do is do 0.632, um, plug that in for 1 minus E, and times that by the EMF of the circuit, which is now 10. And so that is equal to 6.32 volts. And that's how we get the voltage that is now currently on the capacitor after one time constant. It's kind of really cool. You can do that for how many time constants you want to do. Um, graphically, this is how it's going to look. So this is um, the time passes um, by the voltage on the capacitor. So um, if we start out at zero, it's just going to kind of go up like this, not in a linear fashion, but um, in this fashion. And the interesting thing is, it um, there's a threshold at the top, which is equal to the um, amount of voltage put out by the voltage source. So it's never gonna be charged above the um, voltage source. So this is kind of how it graphically works. Um, if you plug in actually five for the times constant, then you get, um, 99.3 percent so that's pretty much charged usually on five constants is how is how much long how long it takes um, for the capacitor to be charged so that's how you deal with the charging of a capacitor now let's talk about the discharging of a capacitor let's set up kind of the same let's set up a circuit so we've got a resistor and a capacitor. Now the capacitor can act kind of like a voltage source and supply the voltage for the circuit. It's not being charged. It has its own initial, let's say, voltage of like 10 volts across the plates. So now we have a different equation that we use in this instance. This is when you do for discharging of a capacitor that's used to supply a circuit. Um, this equation is um, the voltage the voltage left on the capacitor is equal to the initial voltage of the capacitor times E to the negative T divided by RC. You can do the same thing with the time constants as we did with charging, where time constant is equal to RC. So let's say you're trying to figure out 
um, the voltage after one time constant. Then you just plug it in. E is equal to negative one time times constant divided by RC. And then, um, sorry, not equal, just E to the um, negative one time constant divided by RC. Um, you plug that in. So you plug in RC for the time constant and you get negative one RC divided by RC. So you can cross it out. You plug E to the negative one in your calculator and you actually get 0 0.382. So let's compare that out. So we've got our um, time constant, our percent um, charge um, discharging, and then our voltage. So the interesting thing is we have one um, time constant and then 38.2%. So the interesting thing is 38.2% um, is how much is left on the capacitor. So that's a key difference. It's not, it's always relating to how much is on the capacitor. It's not how much that the capacitor has pushed out or how much it's been charged kind of thing. It's how much that's left. Um, so if we look at that, then we can just kind of, the initial voltage is 10 times um, 0.382, kind of same idea. So then that means we have 3.82 voltage left after one time constant. Um, and to figure out the time constant, you would just take the resistance times the circuit, I mean the capacitance, um, and then multiplies it together, and that gives you the time period of a time constant. So this is kind of how you relate it all together, and then let's look at it graphically real quick. So here we are, same deal as with charging. We've got a time times our voltage. And then as we look at this, we're going to start out at the top and kind of it's like and it's graphic like that, where this is the initial voltage. And so as it goes through, the time constant is going to um, decrease over time as the capacitor is used to um, char um, supply something. This is kind of like a situation that we can talk about this is like you're charging the batteries for your camera and then as you're using the flash and using the camera it's slowly discharging the capacitor of the battery. And the reason why we use a resistor, this is kind of important to have a resistor because we want to keep the voltage high but we want to reduce the current um, so that there is no um, excess current which can use lead to hazard, hazards um, in certain situations. So there you go, there you have it. Um, if you have, um, yeah, thank you for watching.